Okay, what's the problem? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Good to know. <clears throat> Missed a spot. That was real cute. <laughs> I can always count on you to bring a junior high sense of humor to the table. Right, I'm the one that's acting childish. Brian. Oh, it's Brian. What else would you have me call him? A cab? Leave him alone. He's not hurting anybody. Yet? Look around you. Like he's the one who should be freaking out. Yeah, that's why we have the no norms rule. Why do you think we open this place? As an excuse to reject the world? <sighs> you think I need an excuse? I know, I know. They don't want me, so why should I want them? Yeah, that's a bit simplistic, but basically... Then why even save Brian? Hmm? Why bring him in here? I don't know. I do. Because no matter how much you try to deny it, you care about the world. About morality and justice. You know, right and wrong. You open this place as a haven for those of us who are different. Doesn't mean you can keep the normals out of your life. I mean, here you are complaining about Brian. All you have to do is ask him to leave, but you can't. Are you done? Don't do that. Do what? Throw me that attitude you always do when you want me to give up and go away. The one that says, I'm too busy for feelings and shit. Like you're training for your asshole Olympics. Actually, it is the dickhead triathlon. You know what I fucking mean! Why do you have to be so goddamn condescending? While you have been one of us for about three seconds, I've had years to come to terms with what we are, and more importantly, what they think about us. And if I talk down to you, it's only because you still talk like they are not a threat. And that just reminds me that you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I know you think I don't know what I'm talking about. That's the point. You don't. You have no idea what they would do if people found out about this. I do. Yet, you still insist on hoping for the best from them, which makes it impossible to keep you safe. All I can do is be there when they just... When they what? When they make you realize that hope is not enough. Why would you care if I stop hoping? Because your hope is the only hope that I have left. Banshees, what are you gonna do? What can I get you, Sin? Beer me. You know what? It sucks. I'm the only person in this place whose order you can't just divine. It would save me a whole lot of time. My powers don't work on you. Your powers don't work on me. That's what I'd call a win-win. Come on. Don't you want to know what I want? I think we've established that it's best for both of us. If I don't. Hey, you. Good morning, sunshine. I thought pigeons got up earlier than this. No, you're thinking of dumb. Mmm. Still roughing it, I see. Thought she'd be back with the rents by now. No, and if they keep calling every 15 minutes, I'm gonna burn the fucking house down! Dear God, man! Think of the Star Wars figurines. Oh. Some of them are still in the box! Still in the box! I'm gonna need you to stop touching me now. What's it like to have knees? Sin. Fine. Ugh. Naomi, I want a rematch. 
And this time keep your mouth shut! This is Chase. Hi, I'm Brian. No much care. He's a little grumpy today. Are you holding up? All right, I guess. I will have to go home eventually. I know. But until Thomas figures out what's going on, I don't think it's safe for you to be out there wandering alone. Well, it's easy for you to say. Ken just called. He has another delivery and wants to know where the payoff is from the first one. I don't know what to do. It's your life. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Except that I really need the money. At least take somebody with you as backup. <sighs> don't look at me. I've got too much going on today. What do you have to do? I'm a small business owner. I have things. Sin owns six businesses? And look at him. If he's got so much free time, have him babysit. Uh, no. It's fine. I'll talk to him. He's actually more mature than he lets on. So, once they ran my comic strip in the school newspaper, everyone suddenly knew who I was. It wasn't, hey nerd, get out of the way. It was, hey, aren't you the guy who did that thing? first time I felt like I mattered. Wow. That is a really boring story. Dude, this is my life. You need a better one. How about this Ken guy? Is he as boring as you? No, Ken's great. He's sort of the Uncle Ben to my Peter Parker. Didn't realize Spider-Man was so into rice. How'd you guys meet? We met at a comic book convention. Look, I'm not as much of a nerd as you think I am. I mean, yeah, it was a comic book convention, but still. Aha. Uh -huh. He had a lot of really amazing collectibles. You guys are talking, found out he had a store in town, started hanging out there. For future reference, a shorter way of telling that story is, yes, Sid, it's just as boring as I am. Brian, where the hell you been? Haven't you been getting my messages? Yeah, sorry, things got really weird. Look, we need to talk. Well, this is Sid, he's okay. I'm super okay. I'm your boy's bodyguard. Bodyguard? Look, if I need to get somebody else to do this, let me know. Well, no, it's fine. Here's your money. Now, can we talk about renegotiating this deal? What are you, his bodyguard or his agent? I'm a one-stop shop, baby. A bodyguard, an agent, a guardian angel, a muse. Well, I'm not amused. This is all supposed to be hush-hush. Sorry, I... Hush-hush is all well and good. But you really should have told him how dangerous this business is. Dangerous? Look around you, man. It's a comic book shop. And yet your pigeon here has been attacked twice. Can you not call me that? Wait, 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 wait. Attacked? It's nothing. I handled it. Oh, yeah. He handled it all right. Jesus Christ. Are you okay? I'm fine. I should never got you into this. So look, you didn't get me into anything. I could have said no, but I didn't. And I'm not going to say no now. So we've established that this is a high-risk venture. So we're gonna need a little extra off the top from now on. We? Look, look. I think I can get you an extra $10. But any more than that's gonna cut too deep into my bottom line. $10. All right. You know, I'm starting to see why people come to you, Ken. You're a, you're a smart man, you're obviously a key player. I mean, here you have a client who depends solely on you for their product. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that if you bump up your asking price, they'll not only pay it, but they will thank you for the privilege. Because you're the man who gets things done. They're not. You're right. They'll pay whatever I ask. Tell you what, you get your next $25 on each run, starting now. Because after all, it's the man who gets things done. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. And I promise to be faster this time. No fuss. 
Look, don't worry about that. Just be safe, okay? Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, I need to find a mirror because I have a feeling I look pretty damn amazing right now. Dude, that was amazing. You really have the magic touch. See? Not all bad, is it? It's useful. I don't feel great about what we just did, but damn. Feelings are assholes. Warrants are up, hon. You're back! I missed you! <laughs> Thanks, Mags. I know it's not a regular schedule, but I just need to make sure. As long as you keep the drinks coming, I won't act offended. But FYI, the only normal that can find this place is the one you let in. Does everybody have to know our business? Diane and I were just talking. And you can better believe if your business is going to include keeping secrets like that, I'm gonna get all up in it. Admit it, Mags, you're just giving me a hard time because I objected to you bringing Mouse in here. Because you're the only one allowed to have a pet in here? At least I transform this cutie into something adorable. Isn't that right, Mouse? Mouse? Hmm. Besides, as I told you, she's not a pet. She's a familiar. But I thought you were the one who was familiar. <gasps> and now who's jealous? Oh, Christ! If it isn't the devil woman, I can't go two days without seeing you around here. Can, can we just get a, a no witches policy? Oh, Angus, you of all people should know how hurtful racism can be. Besides, you can't go without me. I'm your lucky charm. Oh, fuck you! Am I gonna go another day with somebody asking me about my pot of gold, or asking me to tell them a limerick, or the look of the Irish? The next person who does it, I'm gonna turn into a haggis and eat them! That goes for you and your giant pussy! You won't be eating anything of mine without an invitation, dear. Uh, I'll just be holding my breath waiting for that, then. Be nice. Piss off, lad. Uh, but keep these coming. It's been a long day. So where is my furry favorite today? Chase? Oh, I sent him on an errand. Not quite. What are you doing? Boring. Boring is better, trust me. Now what? Now we go back to Ken's. Ooh, yeah, let's talk about Ken. Oh, come on! Look, it's acid, right? I don't want any trouble. No trouble necessary, as long as we get the box. Jazz? You got it, Disco. Well, it's already been delivered, so... Wait, wait, wait. Acid, Jazz, and Disco. Who named you guys? Herbie Hancock? And who are you supposed to be? I'm Sin. Welcome to me. Sin? That's a pretty dumb name. Seriously? Look, we don't have the box, so can we just go? But you do have information. And our boss wants to know what you know. Which means you're coming with us. I don't think we like that plan. Do we like that plan? No, we don't like that plan. 
<laughs> Be very afraid. Like a werewolf or something? Or something. Guess I don't ask why Chase showed up. Because he followed us. More like Thomas sent him after us. As a bodyguard? As a babysitter. Whatever, I'm just glad he was here. <laughs> yes. But if you'd let me handle it, the story would've been hella sexier. Look, let's just go back to Ken's. I've had enough adventure for today. I wish I knew who those jerks were. Don't worry about it. I've got a pretty good idea. After we see Ken, we'll take a detour, see if I'm right. So you can really breathe fire? Of course. That's so hot. Well, it is fire. Now tell her when you breathe fire. It's a work in progress. So it's not always by choice. So you can't control it? Let's just say, uh, I'm uncontrollably hot, what can I say? <laughs> you're, you're so funny. I'll be right back. I cannot believe that telling someone you're a dragon is now a pickup line. Chicks dig fire, what can I say? What are you gonna say later when your little fire goes out? Well, there's later, and then there's later. I just gotta make sure she's not around for one of them. So, you were saying how funny I was. Funny? What do you think is so funny, you prick? It's that Island. You got it, Joey. Joey! Oh, come on! Do we have a problem? Yeah, you can possibly have worse timing. Ah, boo hoo! I've been waiting for three days in the Ladies' John for a compatible host. So I'm sorry that I'm not in your lady problems. Yeah, that's the stuff. What's a Staten Island, anyways? It's, uh, like a Manhattan. Only for men. <laughs> Speaking of which, did I ever tell you about the time I got into an honest-to-God sword fight? Here we go. What year was this one? In 1927? Staten Island. There I am on the waterfront. I had this primo job working for this guy. What guy? Oh, guy. A guy. You don't need to know what guy. In fact, it's better for you if you don't know what guy, if you know what I mean. It was 1927. All I had to do was walk for the ship and let certain people come in. Simple enough, right? The ship comes in, and then I noticed that this particular ship is lousy with ninjas. Exactly. Ninjas. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling a bit woozy. I'm gonna take off. So, how does it feel to be cock blocked by a poltergeist? What's the deal, man? You got mystical Maggie on retainer, keeping out stray norms, but you can't afford a Ghostbuster? Ghostbusters work for cash. Maggie just takes tequila. Huh. Ghostbusters? What did I miss? Puff the Magic Dragon here was about to take home another unsuspecting victim, but Joey Buttons showed up and took her over. Oh, Joey was here? Yeah, he was telling some bullshit story about fighting ninjas. You should ask him about it the next time he decides to play Corpus Interruptus. <laughs> Has anybody heard from Brian or Sin? They've been gone a long time. Oh, they're fine. Chase is watching out for them. At this point, they're probably having more fun than we are. So what exactly are we doing? Following a hunch. Have you ever been on a stakeout before? You just hunker down, stay quiet, and look for clues. Are you trained in this or something? I watch a lot of mystery shows. Oh, and that makes you Jessica Fletcher all of a sudden. You shut your dirty mouth. Jessica Fletcher is a goddess. 
loved her in King Kong. So then I was wondering if- You really can't not talk, can you? It's been mentioned. All right, what do you want to know? Well, for starters, how exactly do you do whatever it is you do? What I do is heighten people's base instincts and emotions, especially the socially disruptive ones. You know how you have an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other? Yeah, I guess. Well, imagine what would happen if I put your angel in a cage and gave your devil a megaphone. Hmm. That's the what I do. How is harder to explain. Well, I already know how you do it, you just touch someone. No. Well, sort of. I don't have to touch someone. It's just the easiest way with the least cost to me. How about you? How do you do what you do? Not very well, apparently. Why do you think that is? I don't know, I probably just need more practice. Or, maybe it's because the minimal validation you get from others is too weak to counteract the inadequacy you feel for failing to meet the unreasonable expectations you set for yourself, leading you to create pale imitations of your artistic heroes in a vain attempt to feel something else. Could be that. Not very exciting, I know. Is that why you got in the package delivery business? Get some excitement in your life? Honestly, I just needed the money. The excitement was just an unpleasant side effect. Unpleasant? I'd do this every day if I was you. Seriously, you wouldn't be afraid of getting killed? <laughs> nah, I died centuries ago. Centuries? Are you serious? Hardly ever. Well, how did it happen? I don't remember her name. Eh, what can I say? One second I was here, then I was someplace else. Then I was back here, but like this. Not sure what I was. But I did know all the things I'd done before. Normal, alive. Those were gone. Not sure I remember how to be human. Me neither. What was it like to die? I was pretty pissed off about it for the first 50 or 60 years, but I moved on. I mean, I get to stay this young and handsome forever, so that's pretty cool. <sighs> After the shock wore off, I just decided I'd do as much living as possible. How about you? Any plans to start living, or is this good? I'm working on it. So I went back to the college. It's more expensive than I expected, but my parents are helping out. Figure once I graduate, I'll probably get a design job to pay the bills while I work on my art. Still haven't found the right style yet, but I think I'm getting close. <laughs> boring, so boring. Great, thanks. I have some good news if that helps. Oh? Well, now we know where they came from, which means I know who sent them. Looks like you can get back to your normal life pretty soon. Great. So what do we do now? The only thing we can do. Think and drink. Hey, Sin, one more question. Promise? You said you already died. Does that make you immortal? I'll let you know. So, there I am. I wake up under the table. No idea how I got there, or even what pub I'm in. If no one seemed to notice. That's impossible. I know, right? So, I'm looking around, I realize this place is filled to the fucking rafters with Irish shit heels. It makes the place hotter than Highlander's balls. Wait, isn't that what kilts are for? What? What are you talking about, kilts? Yeah, to keep your balls nice and drafty. If I wanted me balls draft yet, have your mother come over and blow them for me, laddie. My mother's dead. I, I want no use for the woman then. What's going on about your mother? I was telling a story. Where, where was I? Hottest balls. Right. I'm listening to their incomprehensible dialect. I realize 
I'm in the middle of a meeting of the Irish Republican Army. What did you do? I did what any reasonable man would do in that situation. I started singing around a Danny boy and snuck out in the middle of it. <laughs> hey Thomas, looks like your stray just wandered back in. Uh, can I get an ice water? What? It went fine. It's not what I heard. Look, Dad. I had everything well under control before your guard Squatch showed up. All he did was... Clean up your mess. Yeah, no, I heard. I like it better when I tell the story. So do I, dear. See? I have an audience to consider. Oh. Speaking of... Red, blue, yellow! I told you that this would keep happening. Yeah, but it's okay now. Sin knows who they are. Oh, really? So, who? God damn it! Hello, Brian, dear. I'm Maggie. I'm a bit of a witch. A bit of a... <laughs> and that's our leprechaun, Angus. Like a real follow me to me pot of gold leprechaun. <laughs> Do not make me kill you. He's a Scottish leprechaun. Scottish? Well, so he tells us. And that's my cat familiar, Mouse. Uh, familiar? <laughs> so when you said you're a bit of a witch. I always say what I mean, and mean what I say, and do what I like for as long as I can get away with it. it you seem surprised. A bit. The people around here aren't exactly outgoing. Especially when it comes to their... Gifts? Right. So I'm a bit surprised. And honestly, a little touched that you trust me. Oh, good. I'm glad you trust me to touch you. Wait, what? I can promise you three things, dear. One, I'll always tell you the truth. Two, I'll never hold back. And three, I'll do my best to remember your safe word. Trouble? Beer me. What happened? Oh, nothing major. Nothing big. I just... One of my businesses burned down. Oh, Which one? The Pornorama. Oh, I loved the Pornorama. You don't think it might have been? Maybe. I don't know. Might have been who? Not now. I gotta think. I'll see you scrubs tomorrow. Take care of yourself, kid. Hey, Brian. What do you say I buy you a drink and we start getting to know each other? Not right now. I've got work to do.
everybody, party's over! <laughs>